The Flytest FT Wigan is a great foam board EDF that I like a lot. But for some reason I haven't flown it since a while. It was during the last flights that I noticed it was behaving a bit strange. Depending on the amount of G-forces, it was either tending to turn left or right. It was more like a rodeo than a controlled flight. In the end, it resulted in some sketchy moments like the one shown in my last weekend video. It was a recovery in the last second. But as you can see, I pulled very hard and the G-forces were heavily bending the wing. So time for a deep inspection of my Wigan. Yes, this wing definitely got soft. The soft area is at the joint between the fuselage and the wing. Let's check the canard. Yes, also the canard on the right hand side is very soft. The other side is quite okay. Despite the fact that I had installed a 1x3mm carbon fiber rod, the wing seems not strong enough to handle the high loads during flight. To reinforce the wing I will add two more carbon fiber rods. One here and another one around here. I will try a 1x5mm carbon rod and a 5x4mm carbon tube. That should add more than enough strength. The position of the 1x5mm rod is about 15mm in front of the elevon hinge line. The slot should be around 3mm wide. Actually a bit wider than the one I cut here. This will lead to some trouble later on. Remove the foam from the cavity. Test fit the carbon rod. Cut the rod to the needed length. Now apply a good bead of hot glue to the cavity. And insert the carbon rod. This is where the trouble started for me. As the slot was too narrow, the amount of hot glue was too low. When inserting the rod, the hot glue immediately cooled down, with the rod stuck halfway in. One hour later, I had the half glued carbon rod removed and the slot widened. Ready for another try to glue the rod. This time I was able to put enough hot glue into the cavity to properly insert and align the carbon rod. Now quickly turn the plane around to push it on the table and hold it for one and a half minutes until the glue has cooled down. This was already improving the strength of the wing, but the carbon tube would definitely be needed in addition to make it real strong. Let's grab the carbon fiber tube. Finally, I chose a position of the tube a bit further back than initially intended. It should be around 115 mm in front of the elevon hinge line. Cut along the line without cutting the paper on the other side. Then make a parallel cut with a distance of 5 mm. Pull off the paper and remove the foam from the cavity. Test fit the carbon tube and if everything is okay, apply a good bead of glue along the cavity. Insert the tube, quickly turn the plane around 
and firmly press the wing flat on the table for at least one and a half minutes. Now the wing will be able to take a lot more loads than before. Let's fix the canards. Make a line on the underside of the canard at a right angle towards the fuselage. The position is about 50 mm from the trailing edge, measured at the joint between the canard and the fuselage. Cut along the line without cutting through the paper on the other side. Then make a second cut at a distance of 2 mm. And remove the paper. Then remove the foam from the cavity. Test fit a carbon fiber rod with a diameter of 2.5 mm. Insert a barbecue skewer into the slot and punch it through the outer and inner sidewall of the air intake. Test fit the carbon fiber rod. It should be flush with the inner sidewall of the air intake. Apply a bead of glue to the cavity and insert the carbon rod. Check the fit on the inside. Apply some more glue if needed and remove excessive glue with a scrap piece of foam. Do the same on the other side. That completes the repair of my FT Wigan. Time to make a test flight. That was a successful test flight. The repair was resolving all the strange behavior I had before. Thanks for watching Bavarian RC.